Um, so, people have been sending me some messages and asking me where am I and when am I coming back and I thought, you know, it's the first of the year, it's time to get back into the swing of things. So, um, first I'd like to tell you where I've been and the, where I've been is nowhere really. Um, I, I don't know, for like the last six months or so, um, have not been feeling reselling. Um, and what I've kind of reasoned out over the last, I don't know, couple weeks um, is that I have been in some kind of depression, but not the kind that, you know, makes you not want to get out of bed um, and, you know, cry all the time because that's menopause. I got that. But more like, I don't really care. I don't really care um, about putting a lot of energy into reselling um, or showering. But um, anyway, um, I think it was in a bit of de denial about that. And I think part of this might just be some residual from not fully, fully mourning my son's past, you know, my son passed away. So, um, so I think I've been dealing with that. And um, leading up to Christmas Eve, I did a lot of thinking about that and kind of accepted that that's where I was, you know, just kind of don't give a damn. Um, and figured that, you know, that wasn't good enough. That's that, that's not good enough. So um, I've tried to um, kind of make a switch in my brain and um, try to, you know, just start work, work getting back to normal. So um, this is me. <laughs> getting back to normal if I was ever even normal maybe normal adjacent if you will so um, yesterday Holly and I um, went to the Valley Thrift and um, they had a 50% off sale um, we were there for about probably three three hours um, and I spent about $150. You're not going to see $150 worth of stuff because there were quite a few things that were for her or for me. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that I bought for resale. And quite frankly, I didn't do all that good. Um, no real like dramatic home runs that I can think of. Um, but uh, I'll, sh I'll show you anyway and show you what I got. So um, let's just... Let me show you the few things that I bought that are worth squat. Nothing. Nah, nah. Um, I bought this. It's a beer book in German. And um, I don't know if it's... I don't read German because I don't speak German. But anyway, um, it is probably like a souvenir book. It's not really old. I just thought it was kind of interesting and cool. I paid 50 cents for it because everything was 50% off yesterday. Um, so this was marked a dollar and I paid 50 cents for it. But, you know, it's kindling. It's, it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's, t you know, it's for the outhouse or something like that. Anyway, uh, so that's not worth anything. Um, another thing that's not worth much, I think, couldn't find any very good comps. Um, and this is not in the greatest condition. But it is the Holy Bible, and it says it's illustrated especially for children of color. Um, this one, <clears throat> I think was from the 80s, or maybe earlier. I don't exactly remember. Let's get the eyeballs on. 89, and it does have illustrations that are probably a lot more accurate than those in a traditional Anglo-Saxon Bible. So, um, that's supposed to be Jesus breaking bread. Probably a lot closer to what he looked like. But I digress, as I normally do. Um, again, I haven't found this particular item, but so far I don't think it's worth much. And I won't toss that on the floor. I'll just lay it right there. Let's see, what else? So, I was looking for... An immersion blender and Holly found this one yesterday for a dollar fifty which is great because I want to you know blend up some soups except there's no blades and this isn't a, a very 
common model from what I can tell. Uh, actually, I don't see a maker's name on this at all. Um, I think it says somewhere it's made in Italy. Useless. Um, I probably won't even try to sell that online. Um, I'm not going to pick the whole bag up. But I did pick up this um, Shark por Portable Steam Pocket. It is used. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, it shows her cleaning the um, countertops there to, you know, to like de-germ them. I wish she would come and clean my range hood, though. Be nice. Um, I bought this. Let's just see. For five dollars and fifty cents, there's the whole thing, and um, that big wand cover is pretty dirty, so I'm gonna have to wash that and go through everything. But um, I'm probably gonna play around with this a little bit before I sell it. Uh, but again, five fifty, and I think I can get thirty for it. Um, again, more if I part that out. I don't know if I want to get back into parting things out unless they're pretty significant. But anyway, I digress again. Did you see that? Twice in one video. Um, this I bought for $2. This is a Crossley um, modern retro phone. And uh, pretty cool. I mean, I like that they pay attention to detail. It's in that matte black. Probably about $20 on that. Again, I paid two bucks. Um, I bought a... Um, a ceiling fan complete um, it does not look like it has been opened all the way it's not in a box it's loose but it is a 52 inch wingspan if you will <laughs> but um, I think I paid somewhere around five to six dollars for that and um, I'm gonna try and sell that for about 30 40 so um, but I'm not gonna lift that up because it's you know it's multiple pieces and you don't need to see it. You know what a ceiling fan is. This is party light. Still got the little party light tag on it. This is called the, I forget lamp, um, but it's got a handkerchief style uh, globe on it. It's in a polished brass finish. I paid $4.50 for this and this should sell for about 30. I do like picking up party light pieces. Um, this is discontinued, um, but I don't pick up like the candles and the smaller pieces very much. I like to get the, the bigger pieces. I picked up this pair of Land's End um, little leather suede moccasins. I paid $2.50 for those. Um, and I, I do enjoy the, the shoes. And, and I'm still doing a lot of clothes on Poshmark. But again, I've gotten out of that exactly what I put in. Funny how that works. And that is not much. Um, but things are selling. I've tried to share, excuse me, share, share my closet more this week. And yesterday I sold a pair of Monday, I sold a pair of fry boots, um, and they were just like clogs, um, like a mule or a clog, or clog mule, if that's a thing, um, for $102. So, I mean, I am making money there. It's just, you get into it what you, um, you get out of it what you put into it, and I have not been working very hard. However, I'm going to try and do better. These are a pair of Echo, like walking shoes. And um, I paid $6.50 for these, and it looks like I can sell these for about $30, maybe more. I did not find this particular model in my research, but um, they look like they sell fairly well for, sorry, $6.50. I bought this little trio of votive ceramic snowman carolers, and doesn't like snowmen. I mean, snowmen are so cute. Now, um, I know it's after the holidays, and this may not sell anytime soon, but it's just so sick I can't. Um, it's got all of these little cutouts. This is the Papa Snowman. 
and I am trying to move away, trying, but you know, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I am trying to um, move away from long tail things, but this is something that might sell to someone that just collects snowman. There's baby snowman um, in the off season. And it, yeah, so that was a phone call right there in the middle. Um, you'd think I would learn to turn my phone on uh, airplane mode or something so I wouldn't get calls, but nobody ever calls me except my husband or telemarketers. God, I wish the government would do something about that. It's getting really bad. I don't know if you guys are, are dealing with this, but I get hang up calls, robo dials, um, you know, all kinds of telemarketing scam, got get scam calls all the time. It's getting ridiculous. It doesn't matter if you're on the do not call list or not. They don't care because they're not calling you from inside the United States anyway. But uh, yeah, okay, done with that rant. Um, I got this for, I think for my husband, but I'm not sure and I'm not sure if he'll want it, but if not, I'll sell it. This is called a heat seat and you microwave this for six minutes and it will stay warm for up to eight hours. Um, which could be nice. I got this for him for like hunting. Um, so I'm not sure if it would really be good or not. Um, I paid eight fifty for it. I'm not even sure what it's worth. It may not be worth eight fifty, but you know, what are you going to do? I was trying to be thoughtful and it's just not my nature. Um, I bought this go, go smart something treasure mountain train adventure. And it is this, with all the stuff that's from VTech, and let's see, I paid five dollars and fifty cents for that. Um, I've got some stuff over here, and then I've got one thing at the end I want to show you because I don't know for sure what it is. And I bought it and I paid ten dollars for it because it looks like a quality piece of equipment. So I'm hoping that you all will know what it is and you can tell me because my Google searching has not given me what I think it is so far. This is a vintage Presto hot dogger. And uh, this is for those moms that are on the go that don't have time to sit over a pan of hot water and cook hot dogs. So this will cook six hot dogs in 60 seconds. So the premises of this, if you haven't seen it before, is to stick one end of the hot dog here, you pierce the hot dog with that little spike, and you kind of bend it a little bit, and pierce the other end here. So you've got these, this like archway of bowed up hot dogs, and it's supposed to heat them in, in about a minute. I don't think this one has been used, if it has, maybe just once. And I'm gonna clean that up, and, put that on eBay. I paid $1.50 for this. These go from between like $15 and $30. It's one of those things where if you don't ask more for it, you can't get more for it. So I will go ahead and put that on there. And it's pretty lightweight too. It's probably gonna, probably gonna ship for between one to two pound shipping cost. I don't even know what I'm saying, but that's pretty normal, right? I don't know why, but I felt the need to buy nooks so about this nook yesterday for two dollars and fifty cents i don't know it doesn't have anything with it it's just one of those things that i'm like oh i better buy that i probably shouldn't have um and then i bought this nook yesterday and i paid 850 for that uh normally i would not pay that much for something like this but i thought huh it's in the box and it's got the original packaging and it's got the original cord so we'll see it may not be worth a darn thing who knows um, so I saw, let me see if I can get this out without messing up. I saw this in a bag hanging up and I thought, just making a lot of noise here. I thought, hey, hey cats, I know what that is. That's the attachment for an Oster, no, for a Sunbeam Oscar food processor. You know, it's got the little blade. 
and, and continuous feed disc. And I thought, hmm, I might pick those up. Not that I want to go parting again, because I really don't. But I had seen the rest of this on a shelf. So this was $1.50. And I don't know if they just didn't know these two went together. Um, but here's the Sunbeam Oscar. And I paid $3.50 for this. So I've got $5 in it. And I can probably get about $35 for the whole thing. I do like the Sunbeams. Some things are wonderful. Um, I bought this pack of thank you cards. There are a whole bunch. 20 in there. Got this for a dollar. I do like to do the um, thank you cards for um, Posh. Um, my friend Andy does thank you cards for eBay. So every eBay sale she has, she sends out, she hand writes a card. And she does it for Poshmark as well. So um, this is from Highlights Magazine. Um, if you were ever a kid, some of you were, some of you weren't, I'm sure. Um, some of us don't ever stop being a kid. Um, you remember Highlights Magazine, which had, um, you know, the, the thing where you try to find the pictures in the picture, that like the hidden pictures, I think it was called. And, uh, and it had like, Gallant and Goofus, I think were their names, was the cartoon about how to be polite and how not to be polite. But anyway, this is a card index of stencil shapes. And I thought, that is really cool. And nostalgia got the best of me, I must admit it. Um, I think there's about 75 cards in here. And I'm going to put these over on Etsy and see if I can sell them. But I bought this for 25 cents. So I don't feel so bad about it. And if it doesn't sell in a reasonable amount of time, grandkids, that's what I'm saying. Grandkids. Because um, I don't keep a lot of stuff. Excuse me. I don't keep a lot of stuff here for them. I keep like some blocks and stuff, but not much. Just because they're not here that much. I'm trying to rectify that. So I bought this, this little bag of flatware. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, and I paid $3 for it, which was foolish. But I did get a case knife, like a, basically it looks like this with a shorter blade, like a little serrated kitchen knife. Um, I got that, which I thought, I think I'm going to keep. Um, I have a thing about knives. I don't know. It's not really healthy. Um, but this just has a bunch of junk in it. The reason I bought this bag though, and check this out, this is kind of a funky situation, um, whatever. The reason I bought this bag, because it's got two of these little silver plate forks, and I didn't know if they were worth anything. So I spent $3 to find out these probably aren't worth very much at all. Um, and then it's got some other like cheap, forks and then these little measuring spoons that look like coal shovels for some reason you do you whatever uh, this is an Oneida spoon because you know that's what you want to do when you're watching my videos go through every little piece of silverware um, this is cute and it is Solandia maybe um, but it's a cute little baby spoon it's got it's got the bears on the handle. So anyway, yeah. I got this for 50 cents and this is a Sony Walkman. I don't, I haven't looked up this particular model. It's an FX211. Um, crap, it's got a button missing. Mm. Anyhow, I may just sell this as is. So, and hope to get a little money. Um, I bought these. I paid a dollar for these, and I've got a whole bunch of them here, um, and they're hearing aid batteries. Now, I don't know that they're going to be worth much, and these expire in April, so I may just throw the whole lot on, on there, and I'll try to get like 10 bucks for them. Again, I didn't even look those up. This was definitely a purchase for me, and this bag was 50 cents and there were three of these in the bag and I did not keep all three of them. I just kept one. Gave the others to Holly and her friend. 
but I needed one of these because I'm going broke, wasted mayonnaise. Um, so this is one of those mayo knives that has that kind of interesting shape. Oh, that light's blinding. Good job. Um, it's got that shape that like hits all the grooves in the mayonnaise jar. So I was pretty excited about that because it doesn't take much these days to make me excited. I'm just saying. This is, um, I paid $2.50 for it. It's in really, really good condition. And this is a Connect training bat. Um, I couldn't find many exact ones of these and I can't figure out exactly like what the weight is for this one, but um, there is a Ripken version of this that um, has sold fairly well. Um, again, I paid $2.50 for it and I'm going to try and maybe get $30, uh, maybe more if I can do some more research and find um, more information, but it's an aluminum. Yeah, that helped. An aluminum bat. And it's weighted. Oh, it's riveting, isn't it? Um, I paid $2.50 for this, and uh, Holly, Holly picked this up, and it is this little bag that's got this Bible in it. And this is an older Bible that smells like mold, you know, smells like old book the Old and the New Testaments, and I don't think it tells me, it's an italics version, I don't think it tells me what um, date this was published, I'll have to do further in investigations, but I don't think this is worth anything, it's just a standard Bible, um, let's put that one with that one, but it had this little tiny, tiny book with it, and I thought that is so adorable. This looks like it was published in 1925 and it is called My, Co My Daily Companion, a prayer book. That light is just awful in a good way. Uh, printed in Belgium and it says compliments of Edgar K. Wagner, funeral director, Hamilton, Ohio, phone 1953 phone 1953 it's been a minute since we just had four digit phone you know like you're like um oh gosh where is it maggie give me hamilton 1953 it's been a minute since that matter of fact i don't even remember that um to be quite honest um but it's a cute little companion book that you would just keep in your purse or your pocket um and it Probably is, um, probably is it Catholic for the Catholic denomination, but I just thought it was really cute. So I bought it again, probably not worth anything because you know, what are you going to do? Let's see. Um, I picked this up because I thought maybe I would try to get my husband to play with me because he's not a big board game person, but, um, this is Uno and it's got the Uno, um, score pads in it and I got this for 50 cents I do like me some Uno I do I must admit I do oh I bought this little LED magnifying light um, with um, like a little magnif magnifier with a light oh it's the bomb it is the bomb I'm gonna paint my bedroom sometime this year been trying to the last four years. So I picked up a couple of paint brushes for a dollar. Yeah, for a dollar each. Um, I already have some, but that way, you know, if I want to just throw them away, I can. I uh, picked up this TV stand for $2. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything. Clearly, I didn't care yesterday. Um, I picked up. This is a Krups little cappuccino. Espresso, rather, uh, maker. And yeah, it's an espresso maker. I paid $5.50 for this, and I'm hoping this is worth about $30. I think, if I remember right, it was $30. Um, picked up some more flatware. I paid $6. No, I paid $3 for this batch. I haven't gone through it yet. I, I'm I'm hoping that there's, you know, 
twenty dollars worth of flatware there, but who knows? Um, and then I picked up this one for a dollar fifty. Doesn't have as many pieces in it, but it does have eight of these long handle iced teaspoons from Delco. So yeah, that ain't gonna happen. So there's that. I like I like flatware. Um, I picked these up. The uh, hand. Sorry, I'm not sure. She's always butting in. Dang it. Um, these kind of look like cabbage leaves, sort of thing. Um, the handles too, and uh, they have bunny rabbits on them. Um, they are from a an artist called Arthur Court. These are from 1990. Um, I think these are probably pewter, and they're not perfect. There is some pitting and some discoloration on these. Um, I paid, I want to say I paid like $2 for these. They were with a whole bunch of flat, um, like kitchen utensils, and I gave those away. Uh, but I think I paid like 2 bucks for those. This was in one of the lots of kitchen utens utensils that I bought. And this is just a, it's a Pampered Chef razor. No, it's a Pampered Chef um, peeler. So, I don't know if I'll keep that or if it's worth anything. It's probably not worth anything. Because uh, that's how I rolled yesterday. Buying things aren't worth anything. This is from 2007. Um, and this is an attachment for your vacuum to clean drapery. Again, I don't think it's probably worth much. I don't know what I was thinking, but I paid 50 cents for that. You know, I'm just out of the, um, paid a dollar for a can opener. I'm just out of the uh, practice of buying. I never thought I'd say that. This is a Pampered Chef, one of those, um, cool, those, um, yeah, veggie trays. You can put the ice in the bottom. Uh, to keep it cold. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this. I've sold these before for about twenty twenty five dollars and um, This was definitely for me. I paid fifty cents for this. I don't know what brand it is But it's this cute little travel jewelry caddy Because you know, I like to take the crown jewels when I get you know, it's like I don't even wear jewelry now so but um, I thought it might be good for cosmetics, too. Just a quick little overnight situation. So, I bought that for myself. Um, and then I bought, I think I paid $4, no, $3.50 for all this. And this is all Mary Kay. So, um, and these are all new. I've got two of these. These are like the compacts that you build Huh. that you build your own uh, compact. It's got a place for two little um, palettes, two little pans of makeup in it. So two of those. And then it's got uh, cream to powder foundation. And this color is beige. Not my color. Uh, here is mineral eye color and this is in sweet creams it's really light this one is um cream to powder foundation in ivory that's closer to me um i haven't tried it yet i got this um lip gloss in pink this brow pencil and then two of the cor correcting um it says perfect Perfecting concealer. So I got two of those. Um, any of this that I don't want, I'm going to sell on Poshmark for a couple of bucks. But I thought maybe I would want some of it. And I think I do. So, I think... Oh, one of the silverware lots that I bought yesterday had this in it, which is Enz Enzymatic 60 Second Oven Cleaner. Hmm. So, and it's still sealed. So I'm gonna try this and see if this will clean my oven because it could use a good clean. I'm just saying. 
And let's see. I'm going to pick this thing up and show you what it is and see if you know what it is or can give me some ideas what you think it might be. So I think it, okay, I think it sits maybe on a steam table. Uh, it's made of cast aluminum and it does have little legs on each corner that are cast aluminum. They're not rubber, they're not covered with rubber. Um, and then there's a, like a clear acrylic lid. And then inside is this basket that either sits all the way down in the pan or you can adjust the little legs and it will stand up in the pan so that the bottom of the basket is not touching the bottom of the pan. So I think, and then, there you go. And it looks like, too, let's see. Mm. So anyway, um, and then it looks like a there's a lip on the inside where maybe something else is supposed to sit. Like maybe you can even put it like this. But I don't know. I don't know if that's the way it goes. I could totally be making a fool out of myself, which I do regularly. So, and then this part is a black coated um, little pot. So, I don't know what it is. My thoughts are it's either like a steamer basket for a um, steam table or deep fryer for something because that would work too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. Again, I paid $10 for this not knowing what it was but recognizing that it's pretty good quality. So it's probably worth something. Um, so we'll see. Uh, there's no markings on it. There's no numbers on it. There's um, just a warning that it will be hot. So let me show it to you one more time. This, 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 and hopefully somebody will know what it is. And I'll, and I'll feel sheepish. <laughs> so anyway, that is what I bought yesterday. Um, I've got some stuff to list on Poshmark and some stuff to list on eBay now because I haven't had stuff for eBay for a while. Um, I do have a new um, photograph set up. I'm never satisfied with my photos ever, ever, ever. So I do have a new photograph set up and I will be doing a video, a review on that soon. And um, yeah, so that's it. This is me back again. And hopefully I will maintain making videos. This one's gotten too long, so I'm just going to say quickly, goodbye. See you soon. Thanks for watching.